Ty, Justin Deering here uh, with my second attempt at this Stanley 12-in-1 multi-tool review. Now, uh, despite being an Eagle Scout, uh, engineering school dropout, uh, apartment dweller for many years, general handy guy, I, I never owned a Leatherman, a Gerber, a Sog, or any other multi-tool. Uh, I own pocket knives, I don't multifunction pocket knives, of course, but I never owned a... Uh, um, what I would continue to do a, what most people call multi-tool, which, which is a, a, uh, multi-tool with, with pliers, um, like this. Uh, this was eight and change at Amazon. It seems to, uh, retail, I believe was like on some kind of sale. I'll put the, uh, link up in the comments. Um, yes, yeah, this is, uh, made by Stanley or under the Stanley label. Definitely, uh, made in China. Uh, as you can see, the label here says stainless uh, CR2, okay? Uh, now, from what I've been told by the internet, this is about uh, equivalent to 200 grade stainless steel. Um, not a particularly hard grade, I'm told. Uh, these kind of multi-tools are not great. Um, you know, for less than $9, uh, I think not the worst deal in the world. Uh, I will get into the details. Um, I don't expect this to last as much as Leatherman can. Um, that being said, I guess one advantage of this is if you want pliers that are uh, not going to damage something that would themselves be damaged before they damaged um, whatever you are plying on, this, this might be the way to go. Anyway, um, let's, let's do a blade count here, okay? So we get four blades over here, or four blades here. Four blades that, four plus four is eight, plus the pliers. <clears throat> that means nine. How do we get to um, 12? Well, we do the same kind of inflation that basically all the multi-tool providers does. This this is actually three tools over here, first of all. Okay, this pliers. So we have the uh, needle nose, the traditional rounded pliers, and the wire cutters. Okay, so now we've got eight, nine, ten, 11 um, and we've got yes our file over here also has a flat bait screwdriver attached so we've got uh, 12 what time were they able to count up to 13 uh, but I guess uh, I was mistaken then anyway let's let's go through the tools um, okay <clears throat> So, start with the blade. Actually, uh, the blade's okay. Blade actually came pretty sharp uh, out of the factory. Um, I haven't uh, really abused it much. Uh, I do like the fact that it's not a serrated blade. Um, you know, because yeah, I mean, if if I I I mean, the advantage of a serrated blade is, is you don't have to sharpen it, but even a serrated blade will eventually dull, and they're pain to sharpen. Uh, I'm not the greatest knife sharpener in the world, but I really think it's worth learning the time. Um, as with uh, most of the this this is being the cheapest made. It it it's the traditional butterfly type configuration, uh, so it's kind of hard to get cut down into. But I found you know I was able to hold the knife like this, or actually hold the knife uh, fold it that way. If I fold the pliers in this way, it will get decent. Actually, let me let me zoom out. Let me just zoom out for a second. I'm able to get decent uh, leverage if I need to get down the knife there. I haven't done much, you know, with it. Um, it's an okay knife, and uh, uh, and, and here's the thing, uh, I learned from carrying this multi-tool, and I bought this mainly, so do I need a multi-tool, it would be worse, you know, maybe spending 40 to to $100 in a Leatherman at some point in the future. Uh, and the lesson I learned, uh, or the, what I really felt from this, um, they say the uh, best camera to uh, take a picture with is the camera you have on you at any given time, and, and that's the justification for all the uh, people who, who've you know, sit there and teach about how to take photography, really great photos with like an iPhone or an Android phone. That's how I feel with the multi-tool is. Um, I have 
way better tools than uh, this multi-tool could provide. You know, any, most of the time, uh, any screwdriver, this is a made in the USA Stanley screwdriver, uh, but this is, this is a wooden Irving screwdriver from 1970s, but even a, a you know, you go to Lowe's or Harbor Freight or whatever, you get a made in China uh, screwdriver and, and you're going to get, you know, just better leverage than, than, a you know, screwdriver off of any multi-tool, uh, just because, <clears throat> you know, you know, it's even, it's even going to be better than the center drive Gerber's, um, you know, just, just, just because it's, it's purpose built, uh, and, and it, this, this is making compromises of ergonomics to get everything onto, uh, one device here. Anyway, um, enough with the philosophy lesson, uh, onto the tools. This is a Phillips screwdriver. I have not gotten this to turn any screw. I mean, any screw at all. Uh, here's over here. Uh, I, without drilling any kind of pilot hole, this is just a piece of a two by four I bought at Lowe's. Uh, and I put this just, just so you're aware. Okay. This screwdriver, I don't know what size this is. This is like probably a P2, maybe the P1. I don't know the Phillips head sizes. But anyway, okay, this is actually camming out. This is camming out, but it's turning. But I turn this in without a pilot hole at all, right? Okay, but I'm going to turn this out a few times. It's definitely camming out. As you can see, um, there's some slippage, some cam out, but it's turning, right? Uh, I'm going to try turning this. Um, this is the first time I got to turn with you. I find it's a really not a great Phillips head screwdriver. I find if I put any kind of pressure on this whatsoever, yeah, this tends to turn. Phillips screwdriver, uh, absolute negative in this one. Uh, do not buy if you want if you want a multi tool to mainly replace your screwdriver. Uh, or, or if you do a lot of screw driving, uh, this is not the multi tool for you. Um, any Swiss Army knife I've ever owned that had screwdrivers, much better deal than this. Um, the flatheads. Uh, oh yeah, and and to get back to my yeah, the the best tool you have is the, the one on you. Uh, I think the the real advantage of of this is I can carry this daily. I can carry this into Manhattan. I don't worry about, uh, you know, if I get stopped by the cops for whatever reason, you know, getting flack compared to like, uh, you know, if I were to bring even, uh, a knife like this, uh, you know, I'd get probably more flack from than for this. So, uh, I have, you know, a small set of mediocre tools on me at all times. Um, you know, it might be one less trip down a ladder or down to the basement if I'm working on something. Um, you know, better to have this, uh, like I said, there's nothing, you know, on this knife that I don't have, uh, three better versions of in my house. Uh, but you know, it, 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 if it saves me a trip to the basement, if it gives me that convenience. Anyway, <clears throat> back on the flathead screwdrivers. I've not turned any screws with the flathead screwdrivers. Uh, however, what I have done and I find is really awesome using these as pry bars. Uh, I took apart uh, my rice maker with them. Um, if you ever taken apart, uh, I have. I once again, I have nice plastic pry bars for taking apart laptops and cell phones. I have the big ones for taking apart my car trim. Uh, they're softer. They're you know less likely to break stuff. But I haven't broken plastic with this. I, I've used this and I've pried in between two plastic parts, uh, and 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 it's great. It worked. Uh, and um, that 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 I get a plus on uh, using this as pry bars. Uh, the file here. Uh, so this side you have like a like a fine file, and over here you have like a bastard file. Uh, I haven't tried to sharpen axe with. It definitely does wear down my nail a little bit. Um, you know, using it as a nail file is pretty good. Uh, I have not tried to sharpen an axe with it. Um, you don't need this anymore. Um, but uh yeah i think i think for you know it does okay filing jobs uh on to the other side saw um 
it feels it's very thick it feels about like any cheap multi-tool saw sharpness um oh i actually have a piece of wood let's go try this now go try sawing Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd want to, uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't want to saw a two by four with this. I probably could if I had to, uh, probably for a one inch thick piece of wood. Um, you know, this is relatively soft two by four wood. It's not like an oak or anything. I don't know what they make two by fours out of, uh, what kind of wood, but, uh, this is not super hard to work with wood. Um, you know, if I could write vice this down, if I was standing up, I could probably get in there. There we go. You know, um, it cuts, cuts wood. What can I say? What else is there to say about that? Um, that's all I got to say about that as far as Gump would say. Um, I've got a slightly thicker screwdriver. So I've got three flathead screwdrivers basically on this and one Phillips head, which I thought was a mistake. Um, I would like a bigger Phillips head. Then again, I probably wouldn't like the other Phillips head as well as one thirty on it. But yeah, here's a slightly thicker Phillips head, a flat head slash pry bar. Um, okay. And here is, of course, the, the second blade. Oh, one thing to note, this doesn't have, it doesn't have a pair of scissors, which I find uh, kind of annoying and kind of weird. I feel it's like a missing thing. Um, you know, most multi-tools have scissors. This they call a second blade. It's an awl. Uh, it's, you know, it, it'll punch leather. This is very wide angle, kind of chisel blade. Maybe if I were to sharpen this, it'd be worth using. Sharpen it right now. I have a little... Yeah, so anyway, that that's uh, not particularly sharp. And here's a really sharp can opener. I actually cut myself on this once. Uh, it is not a bottle opener, though, unfortunately. Uh, I don't have a bottle in this review. But yeah, basically, you can. I was not able to uh, basically fit a bottle in this gap over here. Uh, there is no bottle opener on this thing. So if you're going to, I feel if you're going to have a, you know, multi-tool with a can opener, not a bottle opener, make the can opener wide enough where you could open a bottle with it. Um, but they didn't. They chose not to. I've not tried opening a can with this. Feels sharp enough. Uh, I'm sure it'll work. Um, you know, if opening cans is something you really want, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know, get yourself a P38 or something. Okay, pliers. Um, there are, oh, well, I do get the feeling, like, I do try to squeeze, I feel if I squeeze hard enough I could break this. Uh, but anyway... Pliers, they seem okay. They got some teeth. Uh, they grip stuff. Um, so, let me go try to grip that. Yeah, that's slipping. So, not the greatest pair of pliers in the world. Um, let's try this over here. There we go. Okay. Ooh, this is working. I actually gripped that over there. So, that part, the round part's got some teeth to it, and I don't look like I damaged it. I was able to actually turn this squeeze down really hard, and it's definitely, <clears throat> if you look here, if you look here, Okay, well, before they will get, um, not the grippiest pliers in the world, uh, they'll get the job done, though. Um, you know, they'll, grip some things, uh, 
The wire cutters, on the other hand, though. So let's talk about this. So these wire cutter parts, I examined them first. These are completely blunt over here. They work entirely through pressure. Um, here's some Romex. Now here's something I was surprised, but would actually work really, really well. Uh, I stripped that entirely with this. I could, I could run Romex with this multi-tool. That is one thing I could do. Uh, I would not want to screw it, screw in the the gang boxes or the junction boxes. But yeah, I know if you give me a newly framed house, or you just give me a yeah, give me, give me, give me, give me a house. You know, strip it down to studs. Give me just this and a bunch of Romex. Uh, you know, and and a staple gun. I could uh, or or you know the the hand hacks and a hammer. I I could wire the entire house. Uh, you know, up up to the panel part uh with this i wouldn't want to i would you know definitely want to use uh this and of course my nine inch uh lines and pliers uh you know i'd want a full set of tools but in a pinch yeah i could i could totally do this yeah um but anyway just a good idea um there's some yeah, we can totally Cut that over there, okay? You can totally sheath some Romex. And then, um, here we go. I could um, actually wait before I do this. I want to strip this first, right? Getting ahead of myself. Um, this I find incredibly, so this I found surprising, right? So I can totally do this. Uh, so actually, let me go. This up over here. So, so this. Put that around a few times. Uh, not quite. Yeah. Oh. And uh Actually, mm -hmm. try this. Like I said, in a pinch. Not in a pinch, I said. I just want to make that perfectly clear. In a pinch. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, but I managed to get that off. Managed to strip that. And then, um, nice little view. Um, I don't have an outlet nearby, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, quite feasible. Hook that around. That's not obviously a, a you know, a, you know, this is a wood screw. Uh, but yeah, it's about the diameter. Um, I believe that the number eight wood screw, no, number six, number six wood screw. Uh, I forgot which, but anyway, yeah, I can do electrical work. Uh, and absolutely, yes, I know what you're asking. But can it actually cut the wire? And, uh, yeah, it cut the wire. Uh, I did this before. I was surprised. I expected that to totally destroy these jaws when I first saw this. Uh, this is definitely um, an electrician's tool of last resort. Uh, but it can do it. I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, if you, uh, yeah, if you have this, yeah, give this to me. I could give this to me and a hammer and a, a you know, a bunch of tacks. Uh, I could totally, uh, run Romex throughout an entire house. Uh, I would need a screwdriver, um, to, to, um, 
yeah, I would need a screwdriver to, to wire up Atlas to the gang boxes. But yeah, this, a hammer, I could totally do that. Um, that being said, of course, if you're going to work with electricity, make sure you have like a voltmeter or, a, you know, a, a contact tester to uh, do the testing. Um, but anyway, there you got it. Uh, I would say um, this rivet over here that joins them, this, this whatever this, this joint is here, pretty solid. It doesn't wobble a lot, you know, um, not completely... Uh, yeah, not great, not perfect, um, but, uh, not bad, worth the eight bucks, uh, I definitely can fairly say, like, you know, carrying this around for a while, I will say, you know, uh, do, am I really thankful to own a multi-tool or not, uh, this, this will definitely aid in the decision of, you know, do I, do I get a better multi-tool, uh, absolutely for sure, um, you know, uh, like I said, any multi-tool is, uh, going to be, you know, I can get a better pair of pliers. Than the, I don't care if I, I'm talking like, you know, the high-end, you know, Leatherman's or Sogs, right? Uh, I'd rather have, I mean, this is a, a super cheap blade, right? This is, this is 440 stainless steel. This came for free with a set of three Irving vice grips. So you'd have the Irving logo on it. Uh. I bought, uh, well, I bought on Craigslist new old stock, uh, so I have no idea what, what it would have cost. But anyway, um, not this, but and any, you know, I, I, I get a real, I can easily get a, 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 you know, this this knife feels much better in the hand, uh, you know, um, than 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 a multi tool knife. Uh, this is just a super convenient package, uh, it, and what it is, I think it's good enough. Uh, for a lot of tasks, um, and would I get this one? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't, you know, I haven't owned a lot of them, but I say this one, this eight dollars on its own, uh, it's worth owning. It, it's worth buying. Um, I would consider, you know, if you had a better budget, get get more, get get a get a better one, get a uh, Leatherman. But if you get this one, uh, I think you'd you'd get some utility uh, compared to nothing. Anyway. Uh, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.